My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, on the 9th of September, we celebrate the feast of Saint Peter Claver, a Jesuit, who worked among the Negroes in the Spanish colonies in the New World. He was born in the year 1580 to an impoverished noble family in a place called Verdu, around 54 miles from Barcelona. He had his education at the Jesuit College in Barcelona and graduated with distinction. During his studies in Barcelona, he was inspired by a layman who worked in the college. His name was Alfonso Rodriguez, who lost his family members and decided to join the Jesuits as a lay brother. He was a man of deep prayer and he inspired many young people. Alfonso Rodriguez used to tell Peter Claver that he should one day go to the East, uh, West Indies, to the Indies, that is the New World, and save millions of souls who are perishing. That inspired Peter Claver. And after two years of study, he wrote in his diary, I am going to dedicate my life for the service of God with the understanding that I will serve him as a slave. That was indeed a prophetic word because 70 years before he was born, King Ferdinand had begun slave trade. And by this time, it was flourishing. And Peter would dedicate himself to become slaves to the slaves. So in 1602, he joined the Jesuit novitiate and in 1604, he took his vow, after which he was sent to study philosophy in the island of Mallorca in a place called Parma. Then he returned to Barcelona for his theological studies. But after two years of theological studies, in 1610, he volunteered to go to the Americas as a missionary to preach the word of God there. And he arrived at Cartagena, a city known for slave trade. It was said that yearly 10,000 slaves were brought to Cartagena from Africa, Angola, and Congo. And they were in terrible condition. One third of them died on the way. And those who reached the place were ill-treated, sick. And there was a priest, Alphonsus de Sandoval, who served for 40 years to this slave. He inspired Peter Claver to continue his studies to priesthood and support him. So another six years, he studied theology. And in the year 1650, 15, he was ordained a priest and held Father Alphonsus Sanvador. Then he would go 
to the doves where these slaves were brought. Since the slaves were frightened of the white masters, he would first tell his associates, let us speak with our deeds before we speak with our lips. So they were carrying them tenderly like a mother to, this, to those poor slaves. And after that, he would steal the owners to treat them gently. And when the slave trade season is slim, he would visit them in their plantation works and teach them catechism. And it was said that he had baptized 300,000 slaves and converted them. After 40 years of hard work, he was weak. In 1650, there was a plague in the whole of Cartagena up to Havana. And he was also sick. And for four years, he was bedridden. And finally, on the 8th of September, he passed away. Just before he died, many slaves came to his room because they wanted to see him and meet him for the last time. And many of them tore away his clothes in order to preserve as a garment. Because it was said that whoever wore the cloak of Peter Claver would be healed of all diseases and sicknesses. That was the belief. Well, he died and it, in 1888, he was canonized as a saint. From the life of this great saint, what we can learn is that for God, there is no discrimination. He was slave to the slaves because he saw those slaves as children of God. We need to have divine eye to see that. Let us pray for his intercession that we may have divine eyes in our relationships so that we can see one another as children of God and work for the welfare of each other. God bless.